Well, Chris, we are on M14 eastbound west of Ann Arbor, and we were coming from Wayne County, and the deeper we get into Washtenaw County, we are seeing more snow on the ground. Drivers are taking it slow in this slushy mess, as you can see out here, but we have seen a lot of spin outs and some accidents as well. As we travel on I-94, the highway was getting much more slick. We also had seen a couple of salt trucks out here. Now over on 14 near US 23, it is the worst that we have seen yet. There is a sheet of snow on the freeway. Throughout the afternoon, we have been seeing rain and that's shifted to sleet. That's also shifted to snow, then back to rain, making it very slippery on the roads. Also over on northbound 23, drivers are traveling at a slow crawl. And minute by minute, these conditions are changing out here. So we will bring you the latest and later additions on this show. Reporting live in Washtenaw County, Tara Edwards, 7 Action News. Really got to take your time out there. It hits quick. Absolutely. So, yeah. With snow plows, they're out in full force trying to keep the roads safe from this wintry mess out there. But keeping sidewalks safe for people is also proving to be a challenge. 7 Action News reporter Jennifer Bisram continues our live team coverage. She's in Howell. Jennifer. Hey there, guys. You know, it is coming down. We're in downtown Howell. It has been coming down for several hours now. It's also windy. You can see it kind of hitting my face right now. It's probably as well as our camera. And I do want to talk about sidewalks because the roadways are obviously very important. But take a look at the snow right now that's on the sidewalk. I kind of want to show you. Johnny can show you. This is a sidewalk. They've been plowing it. Look how much snow is on the ground here already. And they have been plowing. Business owners have been coming out. They have been shoveling. Take a look. They have been out here all day as well, shoveling, just trying to make sure that their storefronts are outside are safe so that when people come in, you know, they don't slip, they don't fall. Uh, we actually, where we are, there again, lots of businesses here. Plow, plow trucks, rather, are out as well. And we ran into Cooper, who's been at work since 7.30 this morning. He says he won't get out until later this evening. And what he's been doing is basically clearing the sidewalks here, again, to make sure that they are safe to walk. We also did try to talk with Livingston County to see how many crews exactly are out today. They they said they couldn't tell us because basically everyone is out. But take a listen to Cooper when we uh, talked to him earlier. All of the sidewalks through the town and then we go all the way out through all the sidewalks within the city limits. So anything from the Vidoc when you come in all the way down and then all the way back and then doing pretty much any street that the city owns where our properties fall on. Just make sure that they're not slippery. Just keep the snow, keep pushing it away. Just keep doing what you're doing over and over. Make sure that Everybody's going to be safe if they're walking through town and whatnot. You don't want anybody slipping or falling. As you heard from Cooper, staying safe is like the best thing that you can uh, tell folks today, whether you're driving, whether you're walking. You can see it's still coming down here. Uh, crews are going to be out in, in Howell here in full force. They will be working throughout the day, the evening, and tomorrow morning to make sure, again, everyone is safe on the roads. We're live in downtown Howell. Jennifer Bisram, 7 Action News. You're so right about that, Jen, because Dave has been telling us it's that heavy, thick, white snow that smacks you in your face. Thanks for the live report. Right now